Hello everyone, a big scandal has been uncovered at the Spanish team championship that shook the entire chess scene, when the 22-year-old Ukrainian grandmaster killer Kirill Shevchenko was kicked out of the tournament. What had exactly happened? There were suspicions that Kirill Shevchenko was using a phone in the toilets to cheat in the first two games. His first game was a draw and the second was won, but his result was in out and he was forbidden from playing any more games. The first game was played against Grandmaster Bassem Amin and the second against Grandmaster Vallejo Pons. The judges noticed that Shevchenko was constantly leaving the board to go to the toilet. The main arbiter of the tournament, Oscar Prado de Bruno Rodriguez, stated that he firmly believes in the cheating and the evidence collected during the investigation. Vallejo Pons was the one who started the investigation against Shevchenko when complaining that he was leaving the board too often without informing the judges, while Shevchenko stated that he had problems and had to go to the toilet often. During the investigation, in one of the toilet booths a mobile phone was found, with a note that said, do not touch, this phone is for emergencies when guests need to make calls at night which have been cross-referenced with Shevchenko's notations and found to be a close match with both his handwriting and the ink used. Shevchenko, of course, denied these allegations, but the judges are certain that he was indeed cheating, which led to his disqualification. Let's take a look at the game against Pons and see what happened in this game. Shevchenko opened with e4. Pons played e5. Knight f3. Knight f6, the patch of defense or the Russian defense, nothing out of the ordinary for now. f5 and f4. Queen e2, attacking the knight and putting it in a well-known trap, which restricts every single one of its possible movements, either by capture or an exposed check and attack on the queen with knight c6. Pawns of course plays queen e7, then queen takes at e4, and after d6 the knight falls. D4, E5, Shevchenko takes with a pawn in advantage, who quickly falls with knight to C6. It seems like he could keep the pawn with F4, but that's not ideal for white because of queen B4 check, then if he takes the knight takes back, the C2 pawn is hanging, if he defends then bishop B5 with initiative, black would have complete compensation for his pawn with a queenside castle, if white plays knight c3 instead, then after an exchange of queens, again knight b4 with bishop b5. Shevchenko played knight c3 instead, then an exchange with an equal position. Bishop b4 attacks the knight. Bishop b6 defense. Now black threatens a check at d3 with the knight, and if white castles, then d3 and the bishop is bound as well. When white takes, then black takes with a check, then castles, black here would have both bishops and advantage. Here the most common move is bishop g3, which is what Shevchenko played as well. Pawns plays h5, then castle, f6. Knight b5 attacks the bishop from two sides. h4. The most common line of play here is to take with the knight and then to retreat the attacked bishop. But Shevchenko immediately plays bishop f4. Pons here missed the knight to d3 play and moved his king instead. Defending the bishop, now Shevchenko takes, Pons takes as well, bishop d2, bishop d4 attacks the rook, f3 defends it, bishop f5, and now bishop b4, another double attack at the vulnerable pawn, pawns now defends it with rook to h8, bishop e2 to develop the white squares, and the other rook. Rook c8, a double attack from black as well, c6 to defend against the attack, now pawns here plays king to f7, leaving the pawn whom Shevchenko takes immediately. Knight c4, retreating the attacked bishop, Rook e8 attacks it, whom Shevchenko defends with e1, g5 attacks the bishop, and he now takes at c4 with a check. When pawns defends an exchange on the rooks, and now bishop e3. 
In this position, the bishops are of differing squares and white has a pawn in advantage. The a7 pawn is attacked who moves to a6. b6 was a good move as well to put all the pawns onto the black squares which are under white control and to limit its movements. But he opts for a6. Now rook d6. Rook c6 and Shevchenko exchanges rooks. But that was probably Ponza's idea from the first place, to capitalize on the different square bishops with an exchange of the rooks and to enter the end game that way. This kind of board usually ends in a draw, but let's see how this game resolved. Shevchenko corrects his position with king d2, h3, g4, bishop e6, b3, king d7, and c4, which is as we previously stated. Now white's pawns are all on white squares that limit the opposing bishop's movements. King d6, king d3, f5, f4, f takes at g and f takes at g. White is still a pawn in advantage here. King e5, bishop f2, with the idea to enter the opposing side of the board with the king if white goes after the pawn. Pawns should have blocked it with c5, an interesting sacrifice of the pawn, but if white takes g3 and an open and obvious promotion, forcing the bishop to g1. King f4, and black can counterattack and make a draw. Pawns here plays bishop f5 check. King c3 and bishop b1 attacks the pawns. a3, king f5, king d4, bishop c2, b4, king takes a g5, and king c5, where white wins. He can make a free pawn in time on the b line, while the second row pieces completely bind the king's side. Bishop b3, taking at c6, not minding losing the pawn here, and a great move in a4, with b5 to make a free pawn in mind. All of this calculated by Kirill Shevchenko, or whatever engine he was using, if he was using one. a5 here ends in a stalemate, as neither player would be able to bypass the other's bishops. b5 here would lose due to bishop a4 binding and attacking the rook. The only winning move is king b6, leaving the a4 pawn up, up for grabbing to take at a6. Now having a free pawn while keeping the king and slowly taking the bishop as well. Bishop c2, b5, bishop d3, a5, bishop e4, king c6, bishop d3, king c6, king f5, b6, g3. Bishop takes, bishop e4 check, king c7, king e6, b7, Black takes to stop the promotion, b7, and pawn surrenders after this move. Kirill Shevchenko won with or without the help of that mobile phone in the toilet, whatever the case, he was disqualified in the end. Leave your opinions in the comments, like the video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel as it helps us make more quality chess content for you to enjoy. Have a nice day and see you in the next one.